Our galaxy is vast, comprising 400 billion stars spread across 100,000 light years. Even if we're never able to travel faster than light, our robotic spacecraft currently achieves speeds up to 17 kilometers per second. This is slow compared to light speed, but it does mean that Voyager could travel across the entire galaxy in about 1.7 billion years. A long time to wait, but advanced civilization should be able to do much better. Even at only 5% the speed of light, a civilization determined to colonize the galaxy would take under 2 million years. Earth has been around for 4.6 billion years, and although humans are a recent development, it's possible to imagine intelligent civilizations that are much older. So why aren't they here? Either they're not trying very hard, they've wiped themselves out, or they don't exist. But how could we colonize the galaxy? It's definitely possible, but you have to think in long time frames. One way would be to build giant colony ships and simply accept the fact that it's going to take many generations to get to other stars. Or instead of building ships, we could use passing comets which travel through interstellar space and come with the added bonus of useful materials like water and hydrocarbons. If we're willing to wait, why not send humans in suspended animation? This would allow trips to other stars within a lifetime. Or if we're going to send frozen people, it's even easier just to send frozen embryos with fully autonomous robot caretakers to raise new generations on the destination worlds. Tiny nanoprobes might also be programmed to travel throughout the galaxy. Although this becomes dangerous if they become self-replicating and then swarms of killer nanoprobes decide to take over. Over the next few centuries, it's possible to imagine technologies like fusion and antimatter making travel at fractions of the speed of light possible. This would allow trips to other stars within a human lifetime, and as an added bonus, the closer you got to the speed of light, the less time the journey would seem to take and the less you'd age. Even now, we can imagine travel to other stars, and if you're willing to wait, even vast distances are not insurmountable.